It's official. Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds has endorsed Florida Governor Ron DeSantis for president. Someone who calls out our moral decline for what it is, who looks to the future and not the past. Someone who most importantly can win. And that person is Ron DeSantis. so proud to stand here tonight and give him my full support and endorsement for President of the United States of America. Last night, the two governors appeared at a campaign rally in Des Moines, where Reynolds touted DeSantis's accomplishments. Now, the Florida governor is hoping the endorsement will boost his sagging presidential campaign. In an exclusive sit-down interview with NBC News, the Republican presidential candidate weighed in on Trump's intimidation tactics in securing political support. It's almost like with Donald Trump, if you don't kiss the ring, you could be the best governor ever and he'll trash you. You could be a terrible, corrupt politician, but if you kiss his ring, then all of a sudden he'll praise you. I've had people come to me and say, you know, that they endorsed him because of the threats and everything like that. That's not how I roll, but that is how, how he rolls. Um, but look, at the end of the day, if you can look in the mirror and say you did what you think is right for the right reasons, then just let the chips fall where they may. Now, Republican Arkansas governor and former Trump press secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders, well, she's set to endorse her old boss in his run for the White House. A source familiar with the matter tells NBC News that Sanders will make her announcement at Trump's rally near Miami tomorrow night. That's his kind of programming as he skips the Republican debate. Sanders released a statement on her endorsement, writing in part this. It's not a question between right versus left anymore. It's normal versus crazy. And President Biden and the left are doubling down on crazy. The time has come to return to the normal policies of the Trump era, which created a safer, stronger, more prosperous America. And that's why I'm proud to endorse Donald Trump for president. Uh, most of that was not true, we should note. In a statement, Trump wrote in part, quote, it's an honor to have Sarah's endorsement. I look forward to having her at the big rally in uh, this Wednesday. Uh, Sanders served as Trump's White House press secretary from 2017 to 2019, has been considered a rising star in the GOP after becoming the first female governor of Arkansas. Although I will note some in the Trump camp unhappy with her that it took her this long to endorse her former boss. Meanwhile, the Republican National Committee has announced the candidates who will be on stage for that third GOP primary debate tomorrow night. The RNC says five candidates qualified for the debate that's being held in Miami and hosted by NBC News. After making the first two debates, North Dakota Governor Doug Burgum did not qualify for the third one after he missed the minimum national polling requirements set by the RNC. Here who is, though, on the debate stage tomorrow night. Former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley, businessman Vivek Ramaswamy, and South Carolina Senator Tim Scott. There were some doubts whether Scott would qualify. Now, NBC News is hosting the third Republican presidential primary debate in Miami tomorrow from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern. The debate will also stream live on NBCNews.com, and we'll have analysis for you here on MSNBC. So